Samantha Belford reporting for Kids First, and today I'm reviewing The Simpsons. The Simpsons season 31 is charming, funny, and as always, Mac Groening's long-running satire series is witty and hilarious. A few of my favorite parts are how, in episode 1, Homer gets rejected on a sports show, so he starts his own. I also love how, in episode 6, Marge gets her anger out by chopping wood and eventually becoming a lumberjack. I love how they deliver the messages of feminism. I also love how the quote that Superintendent Chalmers says, I know who would do anything for money as long as it doesn't involve kids. Teachers. The Simpsons is an animated series about a family that includes Homer, a conservative alcoholic dad, Marge, a stay-at-home mom who takes care of everything, Lisa, their genius liberal daughter, Bart, their troubled son, and Maggie, a baby who can't talk but sucks on her pacifier. It's also about the town of Springfield, which really represents any small town in middle America. The Simpsons uses satire to comment on social issues, that, and it makes them funny and easy to digest. I like giving Homer, who is pretty dumb, an important job in the nuclear power plant. I love all the characters' voices. A few of my favorites are Lisa, voiced by Yardley Smith, Bart, voiced by Nancy Cartwright, and Marge, voiced by Julie Kovner. A few of my favorite Simpson moments are in episode 22, um, the last episode, Santa's little helper gets reunited with his mother and it's so sweet. The animation is colorful and it is really diverse and I think it's beautiful and represents the characters perfectly. Some positive messages include diversity and how all the characters are very different with different political views, races, and even races, and even love interests, but they still manage to get along. The Simpsons does have a lot of adult themes that may not be appropriate for younger kids. There is sexual language and suggestive situations. Homer is a major drinker, goes to a bar called Moe's Tavern nightly. I give The Simpsons a five out of five stars. It's definitely recommended for a more mature audience. Ten and up. You can watch The Simpsons Season 31 on Disney Plus starting October 2nd. Anyway, I was Sammy reporting for Kids First. And subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye! Oh, Mom, thank God. This one's brighter. Now talk. What are you up to?